In question one, we have to solve each of the following given equations. So let's start with part A. In part A, the equation is 2y plus 5 by 2 is equal to 37 by 2. So our first step should be to get rid of this 5 by 2 and we can do that by subtracting 5 by 2 from both sides. So let's do that first. So the original LHS is 2y plus 5 by 2. The original RHS is 37 by 2 and we are going to subtract 5 by 2 from both sides. So minus 5 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 on the RHS as well. So these terms on the LHS cancel out and on the RHS we will get 37 by 2 minus 5 by 2. So that's 32 by 2 or 16. So the equation we are left with is 2y is equal to 16. Now the next step should be to get rid of this 2 here and we can do that by dividing both sides by 2. So let's do that. So 2y is equal to 16 and we will divide both of the sides by 2. So on the LHS the 2's cancel out. On the RHS we have 16 by 2 as 8. So we are left with y is equal to 8. So the solution in part A is y is equal to 8. Let me write it here. Now in part B, the equation is 5t plus 28 is equal to 10. So the first step should be to get rid of this 28 and we can do that by subtracting 28 from both sides. So let's do that. So we have 5t plus 28, the original LHS equal to 10, the original RHS and we are going to subtract 28 from both sides. So on the LHS, these terms cancel out. On the RHS, we have 10 minus 28, that's minus 18. So we get 5t is equal to minus 18. And now uh, we need to get rid of this 5 and we can do that by dividing by 5 on both sides. So let's do that. So we have 5t is equal to minus 18 and we are going to divide by 5 on both sides. So this is what we get. On the LHS, the 5's cancel out and we will be left with t is equal to minus 18 by 5. So the solution of the equation in part B is minus 18 by 5. That's the answer to part B. In part C, the equation is a by 5 plus 3 is equal to 2. So as the first step, we will get rid of this 3 by subtracting 3 from both sides. So we have a by 5 plus 3, the original LHS equal to 2, the original RHS and we will subtract 3 from both sides. So these terms cancel out and on the RHS we have 2 minus 3 as minus 1. So we get a by 5 on the LHS and on the RHS we get minus 1. Now the next step is to get rid of this 5 here so that we can separate out a and to do that we can multiply by 5 on both sides. So we have a by 5 equal to minus 1 this is our equation and we will multiply by 5 on both sides. Okay so these 5's cancel out and on the RHS minus 1 into 5 will become minus 5. So we will get a is equal to minus 5. So the solution of the equation in part C is a is equal to minus 5. All right, now let's do part D. In part D, the equation is q by 4 plus 7 is equal to 5. So similar to part C, first we have to get rid of this 7. So we will do that by subtracting 7 from both sides. So we have q by 4 plus 7, the original LHS equal to 5, the original RHS and we will subtract 7 from both sides. Now these 7's cancel out. On the RHS we have 5 minus 7 which is equal to minus 2. So we get q by 4 is equal to minus 2. This is the equation that we have. The next step has to be to eliminate, uh, to get rid of this 4 so that we can separate out q. To do that we can multiply both sides of this equation by 4. So we have q by 4 equal to minus 2 
and we will multiply both sides by 4 so into 4 and into 4 so on the LHS the 4's cancel out now on the RHS minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 so we get Q as equal to minus 8 so the solution of the equation in part D is Q is equal to minus 8 in part E, the equation is 5 by 2x, 5 by 2 times x is equal to minus 10. So what we'll do is first we'll get rid of this 2 by multiplying both sides by 2 and then we will get rid of this 5 by dividing both sides by 5. Okay, so first let's multiply both sides by 2. So we have 5 by 2x um, equal to minus 10 this is our original equation and we will multiply both sides by 2 so on the LHS these 2's cancel out on the RHS minus 10 times 2 is minus 20 so we get the equation 5x equal to minus 20 now we will divide both sides by 5 because we will get rid of we want to get rid of this 5 so we have uh, 5x equal to minus 20 that's our equation and we are dividing both sides by 5 so on the LHS the 5's cancel out on the RHS minus 20 by 5 is minus 4 um, so we are left with x is equal to minus 4 so the answer in part E is that x is equal to minus 4 now let's go to part F in in part F the equation is 5 by 2x is equal to 25 by 4 now again we could do the same thing as we did in the previous part we could first multiply by 2 on both sides to get rid of the 2 in the uh, 2 in this denominator and then we could divide by 5 but there is another way to do this you could think of this 5 by 2 as a single number this 5 by 2 as a single number as a single rational number and you could divide both sides by 5 by 2 directly and that will help you get rid of 5 by 2 in one step so let's do this question in this way so we have 5 by 2x equal to 25 by 4 this is our original equation let's divide both sides by 5 by 2 so this is another way to solve the same thing okay now on the LHS the 5 by 2's will cancel out and we will be left with x on the RHS we will have 25 by 4 divided by 5 by 2 can be written as into 2 by 5 now 25 by 5 is 5 and 4 by 2 is 2 so we are left with x is equal to 5 by 2 so the answer in part F is that x is equal to 5 by 2 in part G, the equation is 7m plus 19 by 2 is equal to 13. So first, we will get rid of this term 19 by 2 by subtracting this term from both sides. So let's do that first. So we have 7m plus 19 by 2, the original LHS is equal to 13, the original RHS. And now we are going to subtract 19 by 2 from both sides both the sides so on the LHS these terms cancel out on the RHS 13 minus 19 by 2 can be written as 26 minus 19 by 2 or 7 by 2 so basically what we get is 7 M is equal to 7 by 2 now we need to get rid of this 7 so we will divide by 7 on both sides so let's do that so we have 7 M equal to 7 by 2 and now let's divide by 7 on both sides so 7 m by 7 and 7 by 2 divided by 7 can be written as into 1 by 7 so on the LHS these 7's cancel out on the RHS these 7's cancel out and we will be left with m is equal to on the RHS we will have 1 by 2 so m is equal to half so the solution of the equation in part g is m is equal to half all right now let's do part h in part h the equation is 6z plus 10 is equal to minus 2 so first we will 
get rid of this 10 by subtracting 10 from both sides. So we have 6z plus 10 and on the RHS we have minus 2 and now let's subtract 10 from both sides like this. So on the LHS the 10s cancel out, on the RHS we have minus 2 minus 10 or minus 12. So the equation we get is 6z is equal to minus 12. Now we need to get rid of this uh, 6. So we can do that by dividing dividing by 6 on both sides. So now we will do that 6z is equal to minus 12 and we will divide both sides by 6 like this. So on the LHS the 6 terms, uh, these terms cancel out. On the RHS we have minus 12 by 6 as minus 2. So we are left with z is equal to minus 2. So the solution of the equation in part h is z is equal to minus 2. In part i the equation is 3l by 2 is equal to 2 by 3. So let's uh, get rid of this 2 and this 3 in two steps. First we will multiply both sides by 2 and then we will divide both sides by 3. So let's multiply both sides by 2. So we have 3l by 2 is equal to 2 by 3 and we have multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 2. So on the left we get rid of the 2. On the right side we have 2, 2 by 3 into 2 is 4 by 3. So now the equation we have is 3l is equal to 4 by 3. Now we need to get rid of this 3 so we will divide both sides by 3. So we have 3l equal to 4 by 3 and we will divide both sides by 3. So 3l by 3 and 4 by 3 divided by 3 can be written as 4 by 3 into 1 by 3. So the 3's cancel out here. On the right side we get 4 by 3 into 3 that's 4 by 9. So we get l is equal to 4 by 9. So the answer in part i, the, the equation in part i the solution to the equation in part i is 4 by l is equal to 4 by 9. Alright, finally to the last part. So the last part is, the last in the last part the equation is 2b minus 3, 2b by 3 minus 5 is equal to 3. So first we will get rid of this minus 5 term by adding 5 on both sides. So we have 2b by 3 minus 5, the original LHS equal to 3 the original RHS and let's add 5 on both sides. So these 5's cancel out on the RHS we have 3 plus 5 or 8. So we get 2b by 3 is equal to 8. Now I have these two um, I have 2b by 3 on the LHS. I could get rid of this 2 by 3 in two steps. I could first multiply by 3 on both sides to get rid of this 3 and divide by 2 on both sides to get rid of this 2 or as done in a previous part I could think of this 2 by 3 as a single term and I could divide uh, both sides by 2 by 3. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. So 2b by 3 is equal to 8 and I'm going to divide both sides by 2 by 3 like this. Okay. So on the left hand side the 2 by 3 terms uh, cancel out and on the left hand side we are left with b. On the RHS we will have 8 divided by 2 by 3 which can be written as 8 into 3 by 2 and 8 by 2 is 4 and 4 into 3 is 12. So on the RHS we will be left with 12. So the answer to the, the solution to the equation in part j is that b is equal to 12. With this, we have completed all the parts of question 1. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.